Okay then, so far we've seen how to do two things with our database table. We've seen how to retrieve a list of records and we show those right here, but also on the show view, we've seen how to go out and get a single record based on the ID and show the details of that record on this view. What we've not seen yet is how to save data to the database. And to do that, the first thing we need to do is create some kind of web form so that a user can enter in the data of the pizza they wanna create. So their name, uh, the type of pizza and the base and maybe extra toppings as well. So the first step is to create that web form and then we have to handle the submission of that form to add the new record to the database. So in this video, I just wanna focus on creating the form first of all. Now, I know that this is not an HTML series, so if you wanna skip this lesson, feel free to move to the next one where we're gonna be handling the post request. But for the rest of us, let's get cracking with this form. So we've actually already created the route for this, which is forward slash pizzas forward slash create. We've also created the action over here, create, and that is just returning this create view that we created as well. Got a lot of create words in there. So let's open this view and let's flesh out this form. So the first thing I'm gonna do is delete all of that junk that I already had in there. And then I'm gonna create a div to surround all of the content inside this page. And that's gonna have a class of wrapper and also a class of create hyphen pizza. So tab on that. And by the way, that is the Emmet package in action. It automatically comes with VS Code. So you just have to type out the tag name, then dot for each class, and then press tab and it creates that uh, element for you. So inside this div, we want first of all an H1, and that is gonna say create a new pizza. And then after this, we need our form. Now, we are gonna have an action, but we'll do that later. We also need a method, which we'll fill in later on as well. So inside that form, the first thing I wanna capture is the person's name. So let's do a label for this first of all. So label for name, and I'll say your name, colon, and then we need an input field. So input, the type is text. We'll give this an ID attribute, in case we want to use it later in either JavaScript or CSS, we'll call that name. We also need a name attribute, which is called name. And this thing right here, this attribute is important because later on when we're handling this on the server, we're going to use the name attribute of each input field to grab the value of that input field, what the user entered, right? So make sure you add that on. All right, so after that input field, we need also now for the user to select the type of pizza. So margarita, a Hawaiian, Veg Supreme, or Volcano. So for that, let's do another label. And this is going to be for type. And then we'll say choose pizza type. And under that, we want a select field. So that's going to give a list of options. Now, the name of this is going to be type. Again, important. We'll also give this an ID of type as well. Now inside this select, we have various different options and each option is gonna have a different value. So the first one is gonna be margarita. So margarita, and then we'll also put that in there. This is what the user sees in the option and this is the actual value which is assigned if they select that option. So let's do another one, option, and this time it's gonna be Hawaiian. And we'll enter that there as well. And then after the Hawaiian, we'll do a veg supreme. So veg supreme, enter it again for the user. And then finally, we'll do a volcano one. And again, enter it for the user. Okay, so now we have two fields, one for the name and one for the type of pizza. We also need something similar to this for the base. So I'm gonna copy all of that and just paste it below. And we'll say choose base type. And this is gonna be for base. So let's update this in various places. I'm gonna alt click to select both of those and change it to base. And the first one right here is gonna be cheesy crust. So we'll enter that in twice. And the second one is gonna be garlic crust. 
The third one is going to be thin and crispy. And the fourth one is going to be... Okay, so now we have those three fields done. Now, eventually, we are going to add toppings to this as well, but we've not covered storing JSON and using arrays in databases yet, so we'll add that on later on. So for now, we just need a submit button, so input at the bottom. The type is going to be submit, and the value of this, which is what is shown to the user, will be order pizza, like so. Okay, so I think that is pretty much everything so now if i go over here and go to forward slash pizzas forward slash create we should see that form again doesn't look great but we will add css to this later on to make it look a bit better now one more thing i do want to do is from the welcome view over here add a little link at the bottom so that a user can go to this page which was forward slash pizzas forward slash create so they can just click on a link to go to this form so let's do that let's go to our welcome view over here and then underneath this we'll come down and we'll do an anchor tag and we'll just say that goes to forward slash pizzas forward slash create and create or rather order a pizza okay so if we save this now and go to the welcome screen hopefully we'll see that Yep, order a pizza, click that, and it goes to this. Now, at the minute, if I was to add some stuff here, select some values, and order the pizza, it's not actually going to do anything because we're not handling the post request on the server, and we need to set up a route in here to do that. So we'll do that in the next lesson, but before we do that, let's go back to our form. We do need to input values for the action and the method. Now, the method, first of all, is going to be a post request. Now, a post request basically means we're posting data to the server. It's different from a get request. A get request means we're basically getting something from the server. If you don't really understand the difference between get and post, I would strongly recommend you check out my PHP and MySQL tutorial for beginners. The link to that's down below. So this is going to be a post request when we click on submit and that request is going to go to a certain endpoint, a certain route, and that route is what we place in the action. So the form knows where to send that request. So that is going to be forward slash pizzas. Now I know that we already have a forward slash pizzas route set up over here, but the difference is we're sending a post request right here to this route. When we have this route set up over here, this is handling a GET request. So we can handle a POST and GET request to the same endpoint separately. And that's what we're going to do in the very next lesson.